All right, Trial Mob. So rounding up tonight's updates, just a couple of things from Joy Toy that are going to be cool to get. And obviously some Planet Green Valley stuff, which according to a lot of the resources that I have available to myself, these are still very, very hard to get. So let's go ahead and get over what we have tonight and see what we can do about all this. All right, let's break it down. All right, Trial Mob. So on the Joy Toy side, we are getting a few new figures. So this is one of the first ones. And what's cool about this one is that this one is already basically fully painted. Now, I was speaking to a few people as to what this might be. And it seems to be that this might be either a Korean or Chinese soldier from the Korean War. Now, I'm not quite sure if that means World War II or post-World War II. Um, I'm not quite sure because I understand that all those... Um, countries were involved in uh, obviously both war zones so um, it's hard to tell so if anyone knows exactly what this is please let me know so we can confirm but this does look really cool and as i mentioned earlier i did just get a um, set from the world war ii and i love it so this could potentially be the next one up if it ends up being done correctly and accurately and i mean this one looks like it has potentially a slightly updated body so We'll have to wait and see what's up with that. Now, on the other side, we also got this prototype of what is obviously a new body from Joy Toy. Um, very reminiscent of the one that we're getting with the Mini Mac. Um, the slightly bulged out shoulders. The pelvic area that is now more smaller for larger hips. Um, I think this looks a lot better than the stuff they've had before. As you can tell, the arms on either side go more directly down rather than kind of bulging out a little bit and so that at attention stance looks really good um, the overall look of this looks highly accurate so i'm very excited to see if this is going to be a one-off maybe they're going to make a new seal team or something um, as you can tell in the background there's parts everywhere so who knows what exactly they're doing but i do like the way this looks i do like the realistic look and while i am a fan of a lot of the futuristic stuff with them and lately they've been doing i love this return to form um, something that I might see out of like Call of Duty or Battlefield. I personally love that. But that's not to say that they haven't stopped making new sci-fi stuff. Because as you can tell right here, we're getting some kind of cyborg mech. I don't know, half human, half cyborg type thing. Um, he's wielding an axe. This guy looks pretty badass. Um, this would definitely be something new. I haven't seen them do something like this before. And the weird thing is that... For in order for them to show us this right here where we have this exposed flesh that probably means that this is what the figure is going to come looking like like he's not going to be wearing armor or he might be or he might be wearing exposed armor because this looks like potentially how he's going to come with his um, upper body completely exposed the way you see it so it'll be interesting to see what this is and why he's cybernetic and where this fits in the joy toy world but again this does look like something that's cool and of course they're keeping that sci-fi motif and again the arms here do look different and if you'll notice the upper biceps don't have a swivel so that's a little bit different now switching back over to acid rain this is a shout out to jerry darsano I've bought figures for him before, so if you ever do business with him, he's a great person. He gets it out to you very fast, but he also posted a little bit of a custom work that he did here on an Acid Rain figure, and I did want to point it out um, just so you can see what it what it is that's happening here. Now, as you can tell, that rifle on the, I guess it would be his left, our right, is hanging there and it doesn't normally do that there's no peg that comes on these guns in order to do that and this is a actually a very nice look and the reason why i'm featuring it is because i like the simplicity of this custom that you can do at home but basically he's using maggots magnets in order to be able to do this by using a little bit of super glue and some mini magnets he's able to put it on the backpack and on the gun itself and then you're able to basically put them onto the backpack so that it can hold the way that you saw it i really like this it's very simple it's very effective it's uh, very very cheap to do um, a little bit of super glue on both pieces and you can even paint the outside or maybe paint the entire um, magnet before you glue it on just so that maybe it looks like it's more part of the gun or personally what i would do is i wouldn't even do that i would just put the magnets on and the magnets are fairly lightweight and small enough that it won't hinder any kind of articulation and you could always make it look like it's part of the gun anyway so i think that this is a nice look that you can add to anything that has a backpack in acid rain but you know there's obviously a lot of things that don't but still shout out to jerry for showing us this cool easy and effective um custom
Now switching over to the Planet Green Valley stuff. So obviously we have some stuff that's coming out soon and this is one of the upcoming figures in a pose. I think that this looks great. Shout out to Patrick for giving us these photos. Um, again, this is a phenomenal looking piece. I have been staying away from Planet Green Valley, but some of the stuff that they're coming out with looks very realistic and honestly just very dope. This is a badass looking character and the gun itself is just absolutely incredible i think that a lot of their money must go into making these guns because these guns look really badass and realist now here we have that exact same figure in box with all of the different things that you can do with it um all the different scarves the different helmets or i guess there's no helmets here but there's just a lot of modifications that you can do here which is very very nice um, and again, look at those guns. That assault rifle looks badass. I want it. And I want this figure. So if anybody knows how to get them, I know Patrick was trying to help um, to get people to basically go through. Um, I forget the name of the guy. Patrick, if you're hearing this, if you could actually post that in the comment section, I would really appreciate that. Um, but this is actually kind of hard to get according to everything that I'm seeing. Um, I'm not really quite sure what the distribution is for this in terms of long term. If you go on to Big Bad Toy Store, everything is sold out. So that does mean that it is available on Big Bad Toy Store at some point. So maybe these might be as well. But this just goes and proves that if you guys do want Planet Green Valley, anytime you see an availability, just buy it. Because the sooner that this becomes more widespread release, the sooner that we'll be able to have an easier time of getting this to us. And then as you can tell right here, another uh, Planet Green Valley figure. And again, really cool looking. I like the aesthetic of these and I kind of want to know more about their story. And then of course here we have one last figure and again these weapons look incredible i've never owned one of these figures before so i don't really know how good the quality is but a lot of people seem to say that this is high quality and i'm starting to believe it with all the photos that i've been seeing so this is some really cool stuff and i'm hoping that again this is going to be a more widespread release so that we can get it through a more mainstream media you know, like BBTS, Pia Club, Locker Toys, AliExpress, all the usual suspects where we normally get our 118 stuff anyway.